So I tried uh, yelling here, but that didn't work. It didn't stop the pigs. After sitting in frustration with the hogs running all over the place, never really giving me a good shot opportunity, even when they snuck up behind me and made noise and I saw them first, um, they were very quick to duck underneath the tree fall and get into the thickness again. Um, after sitting for several hours, I decided, you know what, it might be best to just go give my legs a little stretch, go up for a little walk, and... Um, see if there's anything I might be able to find. Uh, as it turned out, um, you know, it was, um, it was for naught. I didn't see any more pigs. Uh, I did see some of the guides in, a, in, um, in an attempt to drive the hogs toward us, but the uh, wind conditions were such that uh, as soon as they got a whiff within 50 yards of me, they turned around and headed in another direction. So essentially, I got a little exercise, loosened up my legs, and um, got back to my stand to sit for a little while. Um, the guides at the uh, Tioga Boar Ranch are very good, very uh, efficient. Uh, they stop by every hour and a half or two to check on you, see how you're doing. And um, I just thought, well, let's, uh, let's give this a try. Let's go for a little walk and um, kind of see what happens. You'll see later on we had to end up doing a spot and stock. Just like deer, if their heads are down, yeah. you can do anything you want, but no, their heads perked up. Want them, want them over here. I think we got the wind in our favor now. About 40 yards now. I'm trying to close the gap to about 30. He's quartered away right now. You drilled him. It didn't go all the way through, did it? No. Should I cock it? I got him in a good spot though, right? I don't think you'll have to. I think he, he don't. Be... He'll, he'll be have to be shot again. No. I don't think. Thank you very yeah, much. No problem. Thank you very much. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna collapse. He's been rolling in mud, huh? Oh yeah. He he's a big boy. He's been rolling in mud. Oh, well that's satisfying. <laughs> Waited all day. I lo you know, I loved it. I loved the spot and stock. It was hectic up there because they would they would appear mm -hmm. and then they would disappear, you know. You don't want me to put another arrow in them, do you? We might have to. He's still, huh? on, he's still on his feet. Let's give him a few minutes. Oh. All right, I'm going to uh, put him out of his misery.
I don't want to put them out of his. Uh, grab me the one in the middle, right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go down on him. He's not gonna go anywhere, so I'm gonna get a little closer. Huh? He's gonna face us, so I'm gonna have to get on his other side, right? Well, huh? I'm gonna go down that way. Yeah. And she should turn away from me or turn, turn toward me. <clears throat> there. Let me know when you think I should do it. Right. He's got a big shoulder, so I don't want to hit the shoulder. I can't believe how he's covered in mud. He is just so covered in mud. And look where he's laying down. Yeah, I know. Need more bolt? No, we got one more. Yeah, I think we gotta hit him again. What's that? So I think we gotta hit him again. Okay. Um, gotta do what I gotta do, I guess. Yeah. Tell me where you want this one precisely. Right. I'm going to go as close as I can go, all right? About. Huh? Yeah. Next time I'm bringing my judge. <laughs> Put him out of their misery real quick. You know, the last two I killed died pretty fast. I mean, this guy is, ex it, it, this guy is exceptional. Yeah. Either that or the mud is, is uh, in the third arrow now. Thank you. Oh, Muzzy. How close do you want me to get? 10 yards? Precise as I need to be. He's, he, he's not going to charge, huh? No, he's not going to charge. 15 yards, uh, about 6 inches of the right of that second arrow. Wait for him to take eight there. Sorry, we had to do that to this poor guy. Huh? He's not feeling it anymore. Oh. He is one tough son of a bitch, boy. He had a lot of life left in him. Yeah, well, we're going to met this little When a 250-pound hog rolls around three or four times, the result is three broken arrows. I joined the, I joined the broken arrow club. <laughs> three, three broken arrows. Look at that, three broken arrows. I'll be going to hell. Huh. Be very careful, there may be a blade in there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy refuses to uh, where are you guys at, need like a nine millimeter or a 357 in the head. So, one, one, pardon? Are you gonna mount it or anything? Uh, no, no, I, I, my wife doesn't really care for him. We live in a beach house, it's going under construction. We can slit it What's that? We can slit it throw. Yeah, you can slit it throw. That last Did you find arrow. All your bolts? What's that? Did you find all your bolts? I, I well, I want to make sure nobody steps on them or whatever. I'm gonna put them back in the truck here. Yeah, throw them right in the back. Right in here. Yeah. Yeah. It's... One, huh? Shot by the toughest guy. Three three shots. Yeah. Right, my, that took three. This took and three. Busted your arrow. Busted two arrows. Busted all three. Busted all three arrows. Look in the back. 